Okay, so I want to talk a bit more about my most recent post, which is about um, fat phobia and body image. So fat phobia um, is literally fear of fat. So our fear of being fat, our fear of weight gain, which is honestly more of a fear about how our society treats fat people and views and views people who don't conform to these arbitrary beauty and body size standards. So, um, so our fat phobia is this fear of ourselves, um, getting fat, of gaining weight, um, rooted in not wanting to be treated how our society oppresses and and discriminates and shames those who are in larger bodies. So what does this have to do with our individual body image? Um, So aside from no longer contributing to oppressive and discriminatory uh, system, it is important because if we are constantly afraid of gaining weight, of being fat, our body image will always be conditional. It'll be once I'm thin enough, I can love my body, I can accept it. Uh, Once I look a certain way, I can love myself. And a lot of this also comes from the very real desire and valid desire to be accepted by others. Um, And because of how ingrained fat phobia is in our society, we believe that we are taught that our worth, our value um, is heavily tied to our weight, how we look, um, how we conform to societal beauty and body standards. And healthism is also another component that is important here um, because it's tied to fat phobia and that we believe that to be healthy we have to be thin and that health is a and that health is a signifier of value it's how we get our value our worth health is what we must achieve and this gets twisted a lot I'm not saying that health isn't important But one, not everybody values health, and that's okay. We don't owe health to anybody. And two, certain people with health conditions will never be considered healthy um, by the societal standards. And so it creates this barrier for people who do value health, but maybe don't fit this definition of health to engage with, to engage with health behaviors, um, which, Health is not tied to weight. Research shows time and time again um, that you can be he- you can be healthy um, no matter your your weight. And again, that's because it's individualized. The definition of health is individualized. Um, this gets really nuanced and complicated. But the bigger point here is that why does that matter? Why do we have to be healthy to feel like we're worthy? Why do we have to be healthy to feel like we are enough? Why do we have to be thin to feel like we... Why do we have to be thin or look a certain way to validate our worth? And the simple answer is we don't. (laughs) That's what we're taught. That's what society um, wants us to believe. The diet and weight loss industry, which are worth over $72 billion uh, annually, um, want us to believe that we have to change our body to warp it into something that's not meant to be, to be worthy. So if health is something that we value, there are so many weight neutral ways to achieve health. But aside from that, no matter what, we are worthy. We are enough. And that does not change. And one of the hard truths is, No matter what goes on with our weight, our body is going to change. It's going to age, no matter how that looks for us. So it's going to change. So if it continues to be conditional, we're going to constantly be stuck in the loop of negative body image, uh, trying to change it, wanting to change it, and using up so much mental energy, using up mental energy, our time, um, our our life trying to change ourselves for this arbitrary ideal that 
will never be enough. And that's because it's external. He's like trying to, to find this enoughness in these external ways. Um, and if we're able to turn inward, our enoughness is already there. Our worth is already there. Now, this is not an easy thing to do uh, because diet culture and fat phobia are all around us. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not possible. Um, it just means we got to start somewhere. If, if we are wanting to make peace with our body, to feel more at home in our body, to reduce the stress in our life, um, and own who we are. It is possible um, and empowering to step away from diet culture and fat phobia. So if, you know, we value making peace with our body and freeing up mental space and energy for things that bring us joy and feel good to us, and letting go of conditional body acceptance, um, whether we have body acceptance and it's conditional or um, tell ourselves, I can love my body when, I can love my body if. The path is not dieting and weight loss and changing our body. It is owning our worth and enoughness now and unlearning fat phobia and discovering who we are beyond our body. And again, this fear of weight gain, fear of our body changing, struggling with our body changing, makes absolute sense. It is completely valid. And we deserve more in life than to stay stuck in these cycles of diet culture and self-hate and conditional enoughness. We deserve more than that. Um, 